What's going on everyone, Gaz here and we are back with some Destiny 2 news, all the latest news and information to do with Destiny 2 and the upcoming expansion, The Forsaken. Now first and foremost please let me please remind you that tomorrow the 28th is when the large update is coming to Destiny 2 for the reset so this will include weapon slot changes, time to kill changes and a few other little bits and bobs before the actual Forsaken drops. So it's, it should be a probably quite a large update. So if you haven't done already, please make sure you go and move and create some space in your weapon slots ready for these weapon slot changes. First and foremost, I thought this would be quite an important thing to say, but on the 1st of September, for 24 hours, we are getting a Gambit free trial. Now this is gonna be for everyone whether you have purchased the forsaken or not but they are going to be giving us a 24 hour free trial of gambit there will not be any gambit rewards or anything like that obviously due to just being it hasn't you know come with the forsaken just yet it's just a trial but we are getting that and that is going to be very very exciting it's going to be interesting to see how everyone's going to tackle it and strategies and things like that especially with the new weapon slot changes that are coming on the 28th so it'll be a good uh, indication as to what sort of things we can expect within the forsaken especially with gambit so that's going to be pretty nice also not confirmed whether it's going to be uh, as of the 28th or later on say you know when the gambit trial is live some of the prison of elder prisoners yep uh, the Prison of Elder Prisoners will be live and out and about in the world. You will be able to, I believe, kill them. But obviously they're not going to be dropping any of the, the new loot because it's just not there yet. It's not, you know, it's not been released. But they will be out and about, so we should be able to see them. Which is going to be quite nice. You know, we get, get, get a little look at some of these guys before the Forsaken actually drops. So it's going to be interesting and pretty 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 nice now there is going to be some changes i believe most of these will go in effect on the 28th we're gonna have some changes to class so for hunters marksman dodge is now considered a reload it will interact with kill clip racking etc exotic armor the celestial nighthawk will grant 33 percent of super energy back if a target is killed by the golden gun shot the wormhost crown will no longer st start regeneration of health and shields instead will grant a larger health and shield bump at the beginning of the dodge instead of at the end warlocks increased healing rift effectiveness empowering rift now increases precision damage previously bonus damage was capped at the weapons precision damage in pvp exotic armor the skull of dire akamkara increased super energy gained from nova bomb kills killing higher ranked enemies will grant more super energy Transversive steps, enhanced mobility. After you sprint for a short time, your currently equipped weapon will be automatically reloaded. Whereas I believe before it was unequipped weapons. Don't quote me on that, but I think. For Titans, the Rally Barricade will no longer require players to take cover to reload. It now just feeds ammo to your magazine over time. So, like the Lunar Faction boots for the Warlock. Same same sort of principle exotic armor the helm of saint 14 now grants allies an overshield for a short duration when they're passing through the wall of dawn mask of the quiet one increasing energy gain from incoming damage while critically wounded health will be granted from kills so you can see that this they're changing some things to different classes you know moving things around hopefully shaking things up a little bit um there is also going to be a load of um changes done to different grenade types and such things so you know there's going to be increased base damage and damage area etc and you know initial damage from blast of etc that sort of thing then we've got some other random information swords will have the ability to accept shaders so whereas before they couldn't so i don't know it's just so it's a small thing, but it's it's probably a nice little, you know, quality of life change that they're bringing. So that's not too bad. Other than that, a little bit quiet. Obviously, the main bulk of stuff that we're getting is going to be after the 28th. We'll know how things are going to be. 
and then obviously when the Forsaken drops. Now, I believe this will be from, as of the 28th, this will go into effect. Berserk will no longer show up on maps. If you wasn't already aware, he will be out and around the worlds, world, plural. He will be out and around the worlds, but he won't be showing up on a map. So we will actually have to go look for him like we used to have to do. But that is all from me. That is all the small bits of uh, information I've got thus far. Getting ready for the 28th to, to happen and for these weapon slots to go live. And we can you know, get a little play, see how things are going to go. Getting ready for that Forsaken on the 4th of September. Now, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel and you do like these Destiny 2 news videos, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, toodles.